collection introduction videos. Now, in today's class, talking about point in all the four quadrants. Like what I am going to teach in today's class is placing the point in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Let's see what is the projection of point in all these four quadrants. Let's take an example problem. Already written here, the point A is 30 above HP and 20 in front of VP. What the question here is, the point is 30 above HP and 20 in front of VP. Draw the projections of point A. As soon as class, I told you to practice keeping the book in first quadrant. It helps you in the exam also. You have a question paper. The paper can be kept in first quadrant and studying what exactly a first quadrant is. As in the introduction class, I have discussed first quadrant. To your left, there will be a source or the observer. Here, the object and this is a plane of projection. Now, when the person is seeing this object, I mean when the rays are coming and hitting this object, the image or shadow is going to appear or fall on the screen. The screen is also called as plane of projection. Plane of projection. Now, the point is 30 above HP and 20 in front of VP. Like similar to the case which I have plotted on the board, this is my quadrant position. Yes, this is my quadrant position. For better understanding, I am explaining taking this book, placing it in first quadrant. Whenever a point or a line or a solid, in the coming units we are going to study, first you need to put it on a reference line. This is a reference line, isn't it? The planes joining the vertical plane and horizontal plane by a thin line is called as a reference line. Coming to the question, this is point A. Whenever the points, like the given points or the lines or the solids will be in capital uppercase letters A, B, C, D, so on. But whereas, when I am going to convert the protocol or the nomenclature per different view are represented with small letter dash. That means, if it is A in a given point, its frame view will be A dash and its top view will be A and its side view will be A double dash. So, a frame view is also otherwise called as elevation. And whereas, top view is otherwise called as a plan. The terms like elevation and plan are being used by civil engineers. Whereas, frame view and top view are being used or termed by mechanical engineers. Whereas, in the question, in the exam, instead of asking frame view, they may ask you, draw the elevation and plan of a given problem. You should get elevation is nothing but frame view. Plan is otherwise called as top view. I hope you got the nomenclature and representation. Now, the point A. The point A, this is a capital letter, uppercase letter. The point A is 30 above HP and 20 in front of VP. 30 above HP is here and 20 in front of VP, that means here. The point is located at the P. Point A is at a distance of 30, 20. This is capital A. That is what I have written here, capital A. Now, this point views now. What are the views? The question is asked, draw the projections of point A. Now, source is this side, ray coming and hitting this point, and the image is on vertical plane. That is, viewing from this side is the frame view. The observer or the source, the frame view indication, a point is capital A, the ray passing onto the point and hitting the vertical plane as it is a frame view, capital A becomes A dash as per our representation. There, this is my view. On the vertical plane, I got frame view as per yesterday's introduction. All the time, the frame view will be 
common vertical plane. Now that is done. Now, again we have a point, we need to talk even about the top view. In how many views we can draw this point, that many views will try to make the views of the given point. Viewing from the top, the point is at this distance, its top view, the ray is hitting the point and it is image is on to the horizontal plane. The similar concept have written here, a arrow mark indication on to a point that is top view, point, ray is coming and hitting the distance of 20 from the reference line that is small k. Top view is represented with small a and it is on horizontal plane. All the time, top view is on horizontal plane, front view is on vertical plane. This is a both our point. Again, even in yesterday's class, we even discussed the rotation of the horizontal plane 90 degree to make and read the problem very easy to plot it on a 2D paper. What we are going to do is tilting this HP plane clockwise with horizontal, the horizontal plane with the vertical plane. Similar here, I have given the arrow one indication. So when it is being tilted, this is what is going to appear. The same thing. That means, this is of this nature, what I need here is, horizontal plane is tilted clockwise, and I am drawing like this. This is what my, this is my vertical plane, which I have raised here, same as it is. And this is my horizontal plane, which is below the reference line. This is what my horizontal plane. So, from the reference line, it is at a distance of 30. When I tilt this, this 20 will be below the reference line. It is said to be first quadrant. Dear students, you need to focus here on dimension and the lettering standards. But when it is very important to draw this diagram, as it is less time taking but more thinking, so that's the reason you need to make your sheet so neat. You can draw either like this or like this. Without the planes also, you can draw this. But the first thing to draw here is draw the reference line x, y, then draw the dimension line, dimension value above and below, then plot the points with the projector, a ray. This is what the ray. This is what after tilting. So this is my top view, which is represented front view, which is represented with small letter with dash. The top view is small letter. I hope you are getting the concept. The next problem will work on second quadrant. So I hope.